Greetings guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monette and this is my channel, Evolve with Monette. I am so happy to share some energy with you guys today. We are going to get into a reading for the sun sign of Virgo. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, as well as north node, Venus. Any Virgo in your chart, come, ta come take a look and see what may resonate with you. The dawning of a new day, freedom and receptivity. That is what this is gonna be titled. They gave me the title before I pulled the card. I was in meditation and listening and preparing for the read and I heard that, the dawning of a new day. So my dear Virgos, we're gonna pull some cards and see exactly what kind of new day is dawning. All right, let's take a look here. Now, please forgive me as uh, with my nails. I see so many people that are doing this and they're killing their shuffle game. And my shuffle game is wiggity, wiggity, <laughs> wiggity whack. <laughs> like, I can get it, but it's not amazing. All right, so we're going to pull a couple of cards here and see what's coming up for us. The dawning of a new day. Well, in order for there to be a new day, there must have been night. And that is the card of night. The feelings we have in the night, the energies that come to us in the night, the fears that plague us in the night. What are we having fears about? Indecision? Yeah, maybe that's it. We're having fears about indecision. We're having fears about deception from somebody in our life that may be being manipulative or taking advantage of situations. Let's see what's going on. This is all you want to be, Virgo. I mean, this is all you ever want to be. Queen of Pentacles, not the Five of Swords. That's never your energy. The Magician. Tower Moments. Knight of Wands. The Hangman. Well, guys, we're going to do some Dark Knight of the Soul. Here's the thing. I'm going to be clarifying these cards. Because I have a feeling that this is a story they're telling about what we have been coming out of. So bear with me while I clarify these cards. I've already prayed about this and begun. We're going to pull a couple of heart chakra. And oh, there's some that are just popping out for you. <laughs> Ironically enough, heart chakra, Virgo. Yeah, when we're coming out of the dark, that has to be in alignment. What else does my Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising need to know? This is what we are going for. This is the aim. We know that. What else does my Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising need to know? I love this for you, Virgo. You guys are the consummate teachers. And I believe what they're going to be walking you through is the revitalization of your energy and your life through teaching about some of these experiences with some of these energies that are around you okay so we've got that very powerful energy for you virgo we're also going to take a look at some daughters of the moon i'm going to pull one out quickly oh my goodness again the teacher the wise teacher scorpio crown of cups transformation complete transformation whenever we're seeing scorpio we're seeing destruction through our primal senses and it's not destruction for the sake of calamity but destruction regeneration rebirth deep understandings about our needs sexuality and an excellent energy for what i feel like is a transformative time okay another wise teacher here the sybil one of blades Essentially a queen of swords, someone who is speaking the truth, someone who is speaking their truth unabashedly, someone who is communicating what needs to be said and heard, someone who is channeling ancestors and angels alike. We're going to pull one here, divine alchemy. It's time to move beyond your current challenges and focus on what you desire. It is time to become the alchemist. It is time to become the crone. The wise person who has not let these situations sully them, but has instead will let the situations walk them into a brand new awareness. This holy amethyst. So guys, if you are feeling drawn to that crystal 
this month or whenever you see this because these readings are timeless please know that amethyst is there you can source it there are amethyst caves there are so many interesting ways to bring that into your life and i want you to understand that after we go through the hardships we do have victory. We have Archangel Sandalphon here, understanding that your prayers have been heard and wanting you to get that fully. All right, guys. So we have some cards. We'll pull some clarifiers towards the end. I'm going to set these aside for now. Just wanted you to be aware. This is where we are. This is the energy that we're working with. So show me in some clear ways, guys. What was this night and nine? <laughs> I was going to say dark night of the soul, but the nine of wands about... What exactly was happening with my Virgos? The story that's coming out here <laughs> is about, here's our clarifier for Nine of Wands. This is Two of Pentacles. Not wanting to be in a situation where you feel like you're in limbo. There are two stories that are emerging here. One is, is of mental health for my Virgos that are watching. And one is mental health that has been unseated or disrupted from this five of swords energy whenever we're dealing with five of swords we're dealing with a deceptive energy someone who is mischievous and maybe even be an energy vampire someone who enjoys getting their way someone who enjoys kind of um really putting themselves in a position where they cause chaos they think they're just having fun but it causes you to be off balance and taurus we know for you you love nothing more than a good, healthy, balanced state of mind. Because of the imbalance that happened, there was indecision. And you said, you know what I'll do? I will make the choice for you energetically. Now, this could be with family, too. I'm getting some family energy here about boundaries or lack of boundaries or what they thought that you should um, um, receive for them or what they thought that you should have. And you said, no, I'm going to set sail. And set sail, you did six of swords as you move away to go uh, into a place where you feel like you're going to have solace. Because after being played with by this five of swords, you need this balance. Now, this card also deals with the card or the sign of Sagittarius. For those of you that may have it, a Sagittarius that is causing that kind of havoc in your life. Queen of Pentacles. Let's see what's going on with that. With the Queen of Pentacles, we see you wanting to move forward and move into a place with the chariot here where you are wanting to be not just divinely seated, but you want to move forward and you don't want to take baggage into the future with you. That seems to be very important. The Magician, what I'm feeling about that, I'm feeling with the Magician that we're dealing with this Five of Swords energy, and there it is. Ten of Swords. Now we have a match, don't we? If we break this down, five, five, and five, we have an angel number of changes that are imminent. Um, this ten, though, symbolizes endings. So let's not just talk about the symbol. Let's talk about why it was clarifying the Magician. The Magician can be the Great Alchemist, which is what they're calling you to be, if you recall. They're calling you to be the Great Alchemist. Didn't they say, Crown of Cups... The great alchemist, divine alchemy, holy, uh, holy uh, um, amethyst, um, and victory because your prayers have been answered. Prayers in their own way are a bit of alchemy, are they not? Energy that we invest into a thing with hopes and faith and the intention that we can shift it with just our mind and our soul. Your soul, your soul, your soul, your soul. When I'm looking at this Ten of Swords, what I'm seeing here is betrayal. And when I'm looking at the magician, what I'm seeing is someone with a mask. Someone who also has their own form of alchemy, but their alchemy creates chaotic outcomes. This could be, again, this family situation. But for some of you Virgos, this is a love situation. Who, may I ask, has been wearing a mask in your relationships and in your life? Who is not showing up in the relationship and has left you feeling betrayed? The tower moment came in, guys, and it didn't come in because you are being punished. It didn't come in because the universe doesn't love you. The tower moment came in to enlighten you 
This is how our alchemy is created. This is how we transition from our lower vibrational selves that began the reading with this nine of swords where you were feeling like, I just don't know. This is where you were feeling tired of being balanced or juggled, tired of being thought of as less, tired of the energy that you were being poured into from a person who couldn't make up their mind. My sweet Virgos, this tower moment is a blessing. It is a silver lining. It is a cataclysmic event that turns your life upside down, but, or a realization, revelation, an epiphany, but it's so beautiful. The thing that I love about the tower is it comes in to let us know something had to change and we gave you time, but we didn't see you making the changes that we deem necessary for your ultimate spiritual growth. In order to take you into this wisdom, my sweet Virgos, you had to have this. Remember what I said about the Scorpio as we began the reading? Whenever we see Scorpionic energy, we are seeing destruction. Now, for my Scorpios watching, please take no offense. You guys are creative, powerful beings, deeply intuitive, powerful manifestors. But you dive deep. And on those deep dives, sometimes there is emotional destruction. I love Scorpio energy when it comes into your life for transformation. I say destruction. Let's flip that into a cinema, synonym of transformation. Maybe that's not a synonym for transformation. Okay, so I would like to look at it that way. It's not just destruction. It's transformation. This upheaval causes you to take a real look at yourself and your values and what you hold true and who you allow to treat you a certain way, how you value yourself. The story of the tower is this. While it is crumbling, you want to take a look and go back. What built this edifice? What erected this massive energy of ego? That's very much what the tower is about. Us being proud of the things we've created and done. So what built this? So let's talk about that. Well, your tribe built this, right? Your first grade teacher built this. That best friend on the schoolyard in third grade built this. That bully on the schoolyard in sixth grade built this. Brick by brick, ideas of who you are and are not. That first time that you smoked a cigarette in the bathroom and you wondered, are these friends my friends? And you started to question your identity and what you wanted to be and how you wanted to fit in. That first love that broke your heart as a teenager, that other love that broke your heart when you were in college and the things that were said in that. In order to evolve into the, what do you think these wise women have been through? What do you, what challenges do you think they built, they've been through? And throughout the lives, brick by brick by brick, their life has been built. When we come to our first Saturn return, speaking of destruction through transformation, what happens is that, and that's 28 and a half to 30 for Virgos watching, but we really come of age. But that tower usually crumbles at first Saturn returns. This is applicable for some of you guys out there watching that are approaching your first Saturn return. I do have videos here on the channel. Please uh, check them out if you would like to have deeper explanation on that. But what I want you to understand is that tower crumbles at our first Saturn return, folks. And what is happening is that we are being asked to reassemble it brick by brick. Now, when you're looking at the pile in the rubble that is caused by a person that's been reckless with your emotions or your feelings or a family, a family dynamic that is not serving for your highest vibration and good, it is very easy to say, well, this is all trash behind me. This that's fallen, this is all trash. Some of us are dealing with workplace situations that seem to be crumbling. Now, I understand we are in a pandemic, but if you're really losing a job out of natural reasons and it's not related to this and you won't be reinstated back into your position, that is a tower moment probably because you were complacent in the job and secretly stagnant not wanting to be there and it was time to go that is what's happening so you look at that pile of rubble virgo you look back at it and you think well there's nothing useful here but they say they being your angels and ancestors they say but go through it and sift because there were some bricks you liked there were some good moments that happened that helped to erect this 
tower. And if you go back, you can add those new or those old bricks to the new bricks that you're building in the future life so that you can build a house that fits your personality. When we take on the energy of our tribe, we are not truly evolving. If we stay stagnant and stuck in what people told us we were or weren't or what we could or couldn't be, we don't evolve. This is real evolution, my friends. Transformation, destruction, Scorpio energy. This is evolution. Now, as we move into the Knight of Wands, we move into <clears throat> the opportunity for growth, for messages that are positive that are coming through. And that is, I believe, from higher power for you. For some of you guys, you may be waiting on communication from a past lover. And when I'm looking at this, I'm going to clarify these two cards and understand what's going on. But when I'm looking at this, I think, I don't think you want this person back. You think you want this person back. I don't think you want this person back. Your angels don't think. I love this so much, my sweet, sweet Virgos. We're going to take this card too. Amen. Oh my God, we're going to take this one too. Okay, 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 okay. Well, they just did a little, they said, well, we're just going to clarify everything. So you have the tower moment and you think all hope is gone. My life is upside down. I'm having this nine of swords, sleepless nights. I feel betrayed, five of swords. I feel taken advantage of, betrayed, 10 of swords. And they say, but we want you to go through this dark night of the soul. What did they say that this was named? I wrote it down on my handy dandy notebook. And this is to be named dawning of a new day, freedom and receptivity. We are freeing ourselves from the ideals of the tribe, the ideals of the partner, spouse, energy, friend, the ideals of the rigid job, the structure. We are breaking those down and we are moving into a new space. And what happens when we break those down is that we will be ultimately six of wands, triumphant. We will have an opportunity for real growth and success because you don't realize that sometimes these energies that you think are things you're just dealing with in your situations are entities attached to people that are draining your life force. Let's talk about psychic vampires. Let's talk about energy vampires. And they're saying it's time to lay. There's nothing else you can do. Another 10 here for you. Major change is coming. Just like that tower moment. They said when that comes, it's time for you to lay down the burden. We're trying to bring you up into a higher and deeper spiritual realm. We want you to be in connection with your heart chakra. We want you to feel and we want you to love. But Virgos, we want you to love that's in a way that's healthy. And we want you to understand that you deserve the power of this love because you're willing to work for it. Virgo, there is no other sign more willing to do the work than you. 4-4. Four, four. That is an angel number, my loves. We also have 11-11. So maybe you want to look up 44-11-11 when this is over with to see what your message is. But I will tell you, 4 has to do with work. 11 is about powerful manifestation. What are we manifesting here? We are manifesting relationship, fulfillment, happiness, completion. We're really, we're manifesting proper union. See, I say proper because you were in a union with someone like this who wasn't reciprocating what you were giving. There must be a healthy norm of reciprocity for your heart chakra to feel like it is in alignment. It will not feel in alignment if you were dealing with someone who is not loving you in the way you should be loved. So when we clarify, that's all for the tower. They say once you get past it, you can begin to look forward and create new opportunities for yourself. Two of wands, dealing with our couples, dealing with our choices. What things are we leaving behind? What things are we holding on to? Now, here's the thing. For some of you who were in triangulated relationships, this is very symbolic because even though you feel chosen over another, the universe says, it is you, my dear Virgos, with the world in your hand. It is you that has already grasped your staff and wand of growth and is surveying the waters, the seas, and the energies before you. What does water represent? We're dealing with our emotions. We're dealing with our thought processes. We're dealing with an escape. And they showed you on the boat earlier, Six of Swords, as you sailed away from the chaos and the trauma and drama that someone else invited into your life. It is a triumphant time for you after that tower approaches because the universe says, if you do that hard work, that hard, painful work, the place we want to take you is into a place where you are not only triumphant, but you are manifesting and bringing your dreams 
into a 3D reality. Let's clarify this Knight of Wands. Ah, <clears throat> someone that's coming with offers. And those offers are full of ish. They are full of it because they have options, don't they? They're full of it because... Let's talk about it. There's two cards that I got here to clarify this. We have the devil. Okay, so Capricorn energy, you know, we call these out as readers because we want you to understand. And as we are learning our craft, we are making these associations just like you would study for your uh, fractions or, or, or do spelling quizzes on index cards. There are these associations that happen, and this is definitely Capricorn. But let's take it deeper than Capricorn because this is not just about perhaps a Capricorn that presents in your life. This is about the energy of Earth, being earthbound being chained to something, being tied. So we're dealing with addictions. We're dealing with third parties. We're dealing with jealousies. We're dealing with sexuality. We're dealing with, you know, this is a Capricorn card, but I also associate it with Scorpio, which is really interesting. The card of death actually is associated with Scorpio. But this, when I see them, to me, they're one and the same because there is that very powerful energy, which is so interesting that we have this Scorpio here showing up. Now, she is the positive transmutation of this energy. If if you're dealing, meaning she has evolved. So that doesn't mean that this wasn't in her. It means that it means that she has evolved. Let's talk about the third party and the person and the issues here. Let's look at the triangle. It's upside down. This is not serving anybody's good. Let's take a look at this. This person has other options. You, for some of you watching, have provided yourself as an option and a choice. For the family situation and dynamic, you have tried to bring in solutions, but those stubborn folks around you in your tribe are not paying attention. They're looking at what's before them and not as what is actually divinely being presented. So they said, beware of folks in sheep's clothing, uh, wolves in sheep's clothing, because though this looks like an offer in an olive branch, Right over here, if you've been triangulated, we're dealing with things that are not that. We're dealing with someone who hasn't prioritized you and may be more interested in owning and possessing than they are in loving and edifying. Just some food for thought, guys. Let's clarify the hangman. Ah, the hangman. Here we have the person that's been holding back. See, usually they say this is a card of the miser, but what I see is a stingy person, a person who is emotionally withholding, a person who is not loving you the way you wanted them to. There is no love there. And so now you've put your love on a bit of a lockdown. We're going to just run the deck now. But now this is what they're bringing you to. Ace of Wands, wishes granted for the healthy communication you've been manifesting, for the norm of reciprocity you've been manifesting. See, when we have the hangman, we have someone who is living without norm of reciprocity, without healthy communication. We also have someone who has purposely involved themselves in a situation because they wanted to gain wisdom. Let's turn this upside down. When we're looking at the hangman, we're looking at someone who has chosen to be martyred. And I know that may be hard to hear, Virgo, as you may think, well, I don't think that I did that. I don't think that I do that. But they say, I am not worthy like the Christ to be hung in the same way. So hang me upside down. It's okay. I understand this is my fate. But here's what I liken the hangman to. I liken it to someone diving for pearls, right? For oysters to extract pearls. It's a deep, lonely, saw isolated dive and the further down you go the darker it gets the colder it gets the more your body compresses your lungs compress but still those divers slip down into the waters because they know that when their hands touch that craggy scraggly scrapey oyster with barnacles buried in mud and sand that if they can just get back up to the surface they will find what they're looking for the treasure that's what being in this toxic relationship has been and that's why the halo's here because as he's diving down what he is receiving is enlightenment and who are the enlightened ones among us these wise crones these alchemists these communicators queen of swords i love this for you <laughs> it's one of blades here it's queen of swords to me what I what I see here is the acerbic tongue of a Virgo and being able to cut through. But what I also see here is the fulfillment of why you're here, Virgo. You are the consummate teacher. You teach by your example. You teach by your words. You teach by your consistency and your commitment. You may not be perfect, but none of us are. 
but what you are is enlightened. And how did you get enlightened? Through being in sacrificial positions where there was pain and then remembering that you're doing it all, you're doing it all so that you can go forward with a message and create new opportunities. Now, for those of us that saw the tower and it's related to it in a work situation, please understand that this is about work situations mending themselves, new opportunities presenting themselves and wishes granted when we have the Ace of Wands. So that is a fabulous clarifier for that, guys. I'm going to pull a couple of love oracles and we're going to close this up for you guys. I am so happy to get to spend some time with you. I think I have some angel cards here too we're gonna do the two that we left with victory they talked about your prayers being answered and having faith and we're gonna do one more clear audience they want you to notice the loving guidance you hear inside of your mind or from other people this could be angels and ancestors one more they said amen healthy lifestyle virgo when I tell you when I see this card, it's Archangel Raphael. Eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep, and exercise regularly for optimal health. Virgo, you guys are so fastidious about your health. Even if you don't think you are, you should be. It would benefit you greatly. Two things. I want to give you some homework. Virgos are fantastic for homework. You guys are so studious. Heart chakra. I want you to find some heart chakra meditations. There are a plethora here on YouTube. This color green is also associated with heart chakra. It's time to raise your vibration to heal from the heartbreak. It's time to raise your vibration so that you can get an alignment with yourself. I don't think it's a coincidence that the healthy lifestyle is also green connected to the heart chakra. Raphael is our angel of healing. We're going to call him in right now for you. Amen, Raphael. We're going to ask that you come in and work with Virgo on this transition into healthy lifestyle. They will not gain the coronavirus 15 <laughs> in the name of all things pure and holy. We're going to monitor that so that they can get back to being in a sane place. Your stomachs, Virgo, big deal. Pay attention to that. I'm being asked to communicate with some of you. That is a huge big deal. And in this time of stress, it's very easy to get off kilter with our diets and our exercise. Also for you specifically, Virgo, with the intake and the junk. Because that lowers your vibration, which we all know. We've heard of food deserts and we understand what that does to the way that people are studying and going through school. But for your mending and healing of your heart, some loving, healthy, whole foods. I love this for you as this final angel card, Archangel Gabriel. And I called Gabriel in. He's my favorite angel. He's the angel of communication. He says it's time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly do what, my loves? Guide others. Lovingly teach. I love the hue match here. I feel like the angels are doing a great work. Amen. <laughs> uh, lovingly teach. They want you to lovingly teach. Some of you are standing in that. There is one Virgo, a shout out to you, Miss E. De Niro, uh, uh, the diva, if you are watching, um, who is doing a fantastic job. This is a YouTuber, Erica De Niro TV, and she does reviews and she talks about various things. But one of the things that I really enjoy, I hope this doesn't freak you out, Erica, is that she's always teaching. She is actually a teacher, I believe. I believe that's what her actual occupation is. But... What she does is what all of you Virgos can do, which is stand right in your platform where you are. No special thing has to happen. You need no extra equipment. If you have a camera and you have something of value, okay, I want to specify that to offer, take a risk and jump out there and see what happens because people will listen to you because you are intelligent, discerning, and most importantly, wise. That's what I want you to know, Virgos. One more final heart lovers deck <laughs> for those of us that were dealing with the relationship issues. Okay, I want us to take a look at that real quick. You're trying too hard, they say. Give it time. I'm not satisfied with that. Said one more. <laughs> This feels more resonant. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing, a blessing will soon be revealed. That's that six of wands triumphantly striding through. Such a pleasure to read for you, Virgo. 
whenever you find this reading, you are meant to find it. This is again for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Ascendance, all that jazz. <laughs> my Virgo is a Saturn is where my Virgo lies. Also a Jupiter. Uh, two places where the Vedic astrologers will say it's not well aspected. But what it's caused me to do is to figure out ritual and organization regarding health and also regarding communication. So, and also regarding how I manage my business and growth with that Jupiter and Virgo. Jupiter is expansion, Virgo is constricted. So there's a lot of positive lessons. Take a look at your natal charts, guys, is the last thing I will say. You can find a free natal chart at Cafe Astrology at free natal chart, or if you put in Cafe Astrology natal chart, if you go to my about page, I believe I have a link for it in there, and you are going to be able to fill in the blanks of what your time, date of birth, and your name and such and you will be able to find out where your sun, moon, and rising are. If you hear people saying that and you don't know what that is, that's where you source that information. It is free, my loves. So go check that out and see where Virgo falls in your chart. It may not be there, but I promise you, you might have some earth or some water or some things that surprise you. Take a look and investigate yourself. As you're rebuilding that tower, you want to familiarize yourself with the parts of you that are purely you and that weren't just given, but that were learned and forged in the fire through your experiences through the losses through the hurt the pain through the rejection through the triumphs you want to understand yourself to thine own self be true and virgo to thy own self teach and then teach others wishing you many blessings and safety as we weather this storm in quarantine together i love you guys we'll talk soon